Hey, Daniel here back with another Mother's Day project that you can do with your kids to really make mom's day. Now today we're gonna be doing a bath caddy, which I think she's gonna love, but it's a little bit more involved. So if you've got younger kids, they may just have to watch for a couple steps, but there's still some really cool personalization elements that I think they'll enjoy helping you with. So I'm gonna make the whole thing out of this like one by eight piece of scrap wood that I had laying around. Uh, but honestly, I think any scrap wood you have on hand will probably work for the design I'm doing. So here's the basic plan. We'll cut a plank to run across the top of the tub. Then we'll attach a shorter piece underneath to keep it in place. I wanna add a few accessories like tea lights, a book holder, and a drink holder. I've also got ideas for some kids personalization, but we'll get to that later. So you really only need to measure two things on your tub before you make your cuts. You need to know the distance from the outside edge to the outside edge for the top piece and then from the inside edge to the inside edge for your bottom piece. All right, so my long cut needs to be 32 inches. I'm gonna use this jigsaw to cut it. But again, if you had younger kids, you could use a handsaw, it just takes a little longer. Safety first. That was our basic build. So I'm gonna go dry fit it in the tub and make sure it fits pretty snug. All right, so top piece looks good. We've got at least a couple inches on both sides for a good strong overhang. And then the bottom piece is clear. So got just a little bit of a buffer there, which is okay. As long as it's not gonna slide out or be able to twist out, then that piece is doing its job. We're good. Now it's time to attach the two planks. I'm gonna use wood glue and a couple screws on the bottom side, just to hold it extra secure. Be mindful where you put the screws though, as it'll limit where you can drill down from the top. Okay, time to plan out where to put the accessories. For the tea lights, I wanna make sure I install them far enough in that it's two planks deep. I'm also putting them right in the middle of the board's width so that the light will actually shine on the book and you'll be able to read by candlelight. For the drink cutout, I just made sure the keyhole was far enough in that the drink couldn't slip out. The tea lights I have are exactly one and a half inches in diameter, so this one and a half inch bit is perfect. It'll be a snug fit though, so I'll sand the holes down a bit to make it easier to get the lights in and out. I'm using the same one and a half inch bit for the drink holder cutout. Then I'm just using a jigsaw to make the skinnier access cut for the wine glass stem. All right, so we got the holes drilled out for the tea lights. Uh, as well as the beverage holder. The next step is to make the book holder. Now, originally I was just gonna install a big piece of wood back there that the book could lean against, but the more I thought about it, putting something permanently there uh, is gonna make this whole piece really bulky and hard to store. So I wanna try something removable. Originally, I was gonna drill some holes right here and put dowels into that the book could lean against uh, and then you could just kind of pop them out when you want to store it. The only problem with that is I don't have any dowels. I thought I did, but I just checked and I don't. So I got to find something else to use in place of those dowels. I got an idea. You know, these are made of wood, kind of, and we have a ton of them all over the place. I wonder. All right, I know you guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but I think these will work pretty well in place of the dowels. It's gonna add a little color to the piece, so it's a little more kid-friendly, but still classy. Let's give it a shot. To get even spacing for the colored pencils, I used an old cabinet hardware template. This thing has come in handy so many times. These pencils are exactly a quarter inch wide, so I'm gonna use a quarter inch bit and wiggle it around just a little bit when I drill to make it easier to get the pencils in and out. I'm also putting some painter's tape on the bit so I know how deep to drill each hole. Voila! 
All right, we're getting close on this thing. It's almost time to sand it down, stain it, poly it, and be done. Before we do, though, we gotta personalize this. And this is the step I've been the most excited about. I actually had my boys draw some doodles on here in pencil. And what I'm gonna do is come back with my router on a real shallow setting and etch their designs into the wood. I think it's gonna help mom really remember how loved she is while she's taking a bath. Now, if you don't have a router, you could also use a Dremel or a wood burning kit, or you could just paint the designs on there. Either way, I think it's gonna be really special. If you've never used a router before, it's a really amazing tool that allows you to make these freeform shapes and cutouts that you really can't get with any other power tools. And while I had the router out, I decided to add a trench for the book holder just to help keep books from sliding down. With all our cuts and routing done, it's time to sand. And I think using regular handheld sandpaper is the way to go here. Plus, this is a good step for kids to help with. All right, we got this thing all silky smooth, no hard edges on there. The last thing we need to do is put a stain on there, give it a nice color, and then seal it up with a polyurethane. This is gonna be around a lot of water, so you don't really wanna leave it raw. Now before you finish it, you wanna make sure you get all the sawdust off of there. A little blower can make this step really easy. I applied the stain with just a regular shop towel, making sure to cover all the little nooks and crannies. Once the stain was dry, I brushed on the polyurethane and watched our creation come to life. Oh, this is it. The perfect place for mom to kick back with a tall glass of kombucha and read her favorite book. Now you can make fun of my colored pencil idea, but they're actually really sturdy and I like the color they add. Plus they're removable, so storage is way easier. The kit personalization elements really look nice. The stain brings out the design, but it's still really classy and feels integrated into the piece overall. Let me know if you end up trying this one. I wanna hear how it goes. And moms, you've earned this. Happy Mother's Day.